What's up YouTube? It's Alex Watts from Team Trust Issues coming at you with a deck profile of my updated Watt deck. I've played it in a couple tournaments and I really like the way it's turned out. It's been pretty well. The only time I do lose but it's usually because the side deck was wrong and I wasn't siding correctly for certain decks but I changed that around and I'm gonna test it out, see what it turns out. But this is how it is so far. So here we go. And uh, for the Watt engine, we have Triple King Cobra. He can attack directly. When he does, search for a Watt, add it to hand. Triple Giraffe. He can attack directly, 1200. And when he attacks directly and inflicts battle damage, your opponent can't activate any cards, any card or effects until the end of the turn. He's just, he's really annoying. He's really good. He's really good this format for some reason. It's great. Triple Dragonfly. When he's destroyed by your opponent by battle or card effect, special summon another Watt from the deck. One Barracks. Um, I put him in he, because he's a tuner and he adds to the Watt engine because he can be special with Dragonfly. I was running Spear River before, but I actually like him a lot better because I can synchro with him and go into Angel Tank and Wavern, which I need to pick up. And yeah, when he inflicts battle damage by direct attack, he's like Spear Reaper and you discard a card for your opponent. And one Watt Dragon. The reason for him is because I like him because he can be special for free with Dragonfly and Dragonfly goes off just off of anything doesn't matter as long as it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect and you can special summon him and he's basically a free 2500 beater and I like using him to run over T-Kings and stuff like that and that's it for the Watt engine this is like the anti-meta Player preference engine, I guess. Double Doom Caliber. And I know Doom Caliber, you have to play around it in this deck, but at the same time, you're not going to have a whole bunch of monsters on the field, or I usually don't. And you can just normal him and just sit on him and make your opponent waste a Valor or like waste something, and it's going to negate and destroy it. Or they'll have to like. It basically forces your opponent to play around him or get rid of him, usually. Double Banisher. This card is great. Like, Doom Caliber is awesome in this format, but he is. Banisher is just great this format. Uh, it stops in sectors. Uh, it stops a lot of stuff. Stops in sectors, stops Chaos Dragons, stops Dark Worlds. He's just all around just great. And he's a light, so I can luminize him. So then he becomes a beater and just... Yeah, he's doing great this format. Uh, double Valor. I was running three before, but... You really don't need three. Especially with the Banishers and the Doom Callies and... And, yeah. But it's Valor. Priority's gone this format. Why wouldn't you be running Valor? And one on us... Because it's honest. And one Gores. Uh, in this deck, you do run heavy back row, but Gores is. It's unexpected. It's just great because you can say, go, first turn, and then drop Gores, and then summon, like, a Doom Caliber, or a Banisher, or a Watt. And just get in there. And yeah. He's really good. And it's a comes as a complete surprise to a lot of people because they don't expect it. And let's move on to the spells. Not very many spells. There's 18 monsters. There is one, two, two, seven spells. Only seven spells, yeah. Reborn. Because we're in stable. Dark hole staple. Double swords, because it's a lot deck. This card is amazing. And triple duality. I was running the deck at like 41, 42, maybe even 43. 
but I finally cut it down to 40 and this build's been working great. Yeah, and it's just so, it runs so much better with 40. And now for the traps, there are, one, two, three, four. There are 14 traps, and that's a lot. And there are no MSTs, because you really don't need MSTs. First game, and I usually, I usually win first game, and if I don't, I'll side the, side the MSTs in, because like, uh, decks like Rabbit and maybe Insectors will side in Royal Decrees and you just side in MSTs and stuff like that. But we'll get inside there. And first off of the traps, Triple Luminize. When your opponent declares an attack, you can negate the attack and one face-up light monster gains the attack until your next end phase. This card puts in a lot of work. I'm kind of iffy on it right now. It seems like um, D-Prisons would be better with the way I run the deck but I still like it a lot the reason for deep prisons is sometimes you like you just want to get rid of that monster and like you just don't want to leave it on the field so yeah but we'll see what turns out uh, double bottomless cause bottomless uh, double compulse I put this in it's a uh, grayed out for lots of stuff, you can compulse a rabbit, compulse insectors, and compulse is great. And Solemn Brigade, because Solemn Brigade. Uh, double Torrential, Staples, and Double Road. Only two, you don't need three, you really don't. Three is just, it seemed too much. It's fine at two. Especially with the way the deck runs now, you don't. You don't really need road that much. Now for the side deck. I was running differently before. I was actually running mine crushes. But those didn't work out because I built the side deck in like a minute. But now hopefully this will do a lot better. Double fossil dino. It's fossil dino. Slide it against rabbit. Um, Chaos Dragons, anything that special summons a lot. Double Cyber. Um, Cyber Dragon, I was thinking of siding an extra Banisher and an extra Doom Caliber, or maybe even double Teaking, but I like the Cyber Dragons because you can sign them again in against those random machine decks or maybe even random wind-up decks you'll play and it's cyber dragon and the second reason is side them in against like maybe anti-meta so you can like make them waste their bottomlesses and deep prisons or actually sometimes they'll side out their bottomlesses and then you side in the cyber dragons and then you can get in there even more and yeah Triple MST. I was main boarding two before, but with this deck, you don't need MSTs. You can side them in, and you'll be perfectly fine. And the deck's been running great without MSTs. Don't need it that much. Uh, double Messenger. Um, before, I was running Double Mind Crush. I don't know why I just put it in there, but they didn't work out. But I'm going to use these because I can... Especially on Dyna, I can side out the uh, the Doom Calibers, the Banishers, and the Watt Dragon, and side in Double Messenger or Triple MST because Rabbit Rabbit players will usually side in Royal Decrees or maybe even D Fissures or Macros for some reason. And I don't like d or macros because it messes up the Honest and the Veilers, but I hate Roll Decree more. But if they Roll Decree me, it's awesome if I have a, a Messenger up because I can be like, Oh, you Roll Decree? Awesome. Activate Messenger of Peace and just keep normaling Watts and they can't Torrential them or Warning them or Compulse them because they have their own Roll Decree up. And yeah, it's awesome. Uh, double Prohibition. Prohibition is really good. I really like it because a lot of cards, a lot of decks have key cards 
Like, you can Prohibition Rabbit. You can Prohibition Hornet. You can... Prohibition, like... Just, like, anything you need, basically. I've gone up against Gravekeepers, and I've Prohibition the Spy, and it's worked amazing. Uh, Double Shadow. A lot of darks running rampant this format. Like, against Gravekeepers, I'll side in these... And I'll be like, oh, Prohibition Spy. And then set a Shadow Imprisoning. And it just does a lot of damage. Especially if I play this one guy. I Normal Banisher. Activated Prohibition. Prohibition Spy. And he had like double Spy in hand. And yeah, and then I like beat him down with double Banisher. That was amazing. And for the last two, uh, double Magical Cylinder. They are sided and not main because going against this deck has a problem with like, well, like, not that much problem, but it's good to like just get in there extra or like just have the extra to get rid of attack, especially against like the Beater Dragon decks and Dark Worlds. Because if you don't have this. And then they skill drain you, and you can't MST anything. You have to, like, Luminize your monster, or Magical Cylinder the Grapha, and Magical Cylinder your Grapha. And especially if they have the field spell, and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to hit you for 3k. Crash into Cylinder for game, and yeah, it's, it just gets there. And for the extra, there's a lot of cards that need to pick up for the extra. But this is what I have so far. Ghost tokens, wish words. Uh, one chimera tech, one acid. I just put him in there for kicks because I have banishers, but I'll probably take him out. Uh, Levier and get into the banishers. Probably gonna take him out. These two are like you know, redundant. Uh, w Utopia. Probably not gonna run Utopia Ray, but Utopia's good. And black corn when it comes out. Black corn is so good. Uh, one pearl. One contester. Hyper librarian probably going out. Um, Brow is probably going out too. Because I'm never, never going to single to six. And librarian is redundant. I need the space. Uh, one ancient fairy. One black rose. One scrap. It's because of level three tuner. And I have a whole bunch of level fours. So it's good to get in there. Double Stardust for the roads and one Scrap. Scrap's probably going out too. Because I really want to put in an Ancient Sacred Wyvern and different Exceeds. Because they're better for the deck. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And please put any comments or what you think, or what I should do to the deck, any suggestions, and I'll read them and get back to you. Peace.